Hello all. Today we will see how memory is allocated for variables in a block structured programming language. Okay. One example of a block structured programming language is C. So let's see an example. So look at this question. This question is taken from Scott's book of programming language pragmatics. The question goes like this. Consider the following fragment of code in C and this is the code given the question is assume that each integer variable occupies four bytes how much total space is required for the variables in this code now if you look at this code you realize that there are several blocks so this is the outermost block which you see this is block one then this is block 2 which is declared within block 1 so block 2 is defined in block 1 then here we have block 3 which is defined in block 2 and finally we have block 4 which is defined in block 1 the indentation will explain that block 2 and block 4 are defined in block 1 and block 3 is defined in block 2 and in each of these blocks some variables are declared like in block 1 we have declared a b c in block 2 we have declared d e in block 3 we have declared f and in block 4 we have declared g h and i okay now we will see how memory will be allocated for these variables so before you enter block 1 the total memory allocated is 0 the total memory allocated is 0 now as soon as you enter into this block 1 the memory allocated at this point is 12 bytes right why 12 bytes because there are three variables a b c and each integer variable requires 4 bytes so there are 12 bytes then you enter into another block block 2 wherein now block 2 is defined in block 1 and in block 2 we already have memory allocated for two more variables d and e okay so the total memory will be 12 plus 8 which is equal to 20 bytes right 12 bytes for abc and then next 8 bytes are for D and E. Then when you enter into block 3, you realize that block 3 is also defined in block 2. Okay. So the memory allocated at this point in time is previous memory allocated plus the memory required for F which happens to be 24 bytes. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay now when you exit from this block when you exit from this block block 3 memory for this f will be destroyed and we go back to memory allocated is 20 bytes why because memory for f is destroyed because f was declared in block 3 and we are coming out of block 3 now we are in block 2 so memory required is 20 bytes when you come out of block also then memory allocated for variables in block 2 D and E will also be destroyed so we go back to 12 bytes right? I hope you have understood here memory for F is destroyed whereas over here memory for D and E is destroyed okay then when you enter into this block block 4 we are allocating memory for three more variables G H and R so total memory is 12 plus 12 which is equal to 24 bytes okay. then when you exit from block 4 
total memory will go back to 12 bytes as now since we come out of block 4 memory for G, H and I will be destroyed memory for G, H and I is destroyed ok and then finally when you come out of block 1 itself the total memory would be 0 bytes again so just with the original version right right 0 bytes so here memory for ABC is also destroyed a, B and C is destroyed. Okay. Now the question is how much total space is required for the variables in this course. So you realize that here memory allocated is 0, here it is 12, it is 20, 24, 20, 12, 24, 12 and 0. So at any given point in time the largest memory required by this code is 24 bytes. Right? Hence, the output is 24 bytes. Right? Total memory required for the variables in this code is 24 bytes. I hope you have understood. Thank you.